because anything that person can do, you can do. I promise you that. But you have to stop the comparison game that is keeping you small. It's making you feel terrible and it's keeping you stuck in that narrative that you're not capable when I'm here to tell you that you are capable and you just need to get out of your own way. Hello, Dr. Humans. Today, I wanted to give you a key mindset piece for the clinical exam that could be a game changer, especially if right now you are lacking confidence in your clinical skills. Maybe you're comparing yourself to other people Maybe when you see someone do really well in a long case or a short case, a part of you just dies inside. You know what I mean? And you kind of want to run away and hide in a cupboard until this whole thing is over. I feel you. I feel you. <laughs> but the truth is that you have big dreams. You are right now on a path to advanced training stardom and this clinical exam is in your way. It is standing between you and those dreams. So you can't be hiding in the cupboard and beating yourself up. That is not a good use of your time. And honestly, I relate to this feeling. I so relate to this. When I was setting my clinical exam, I was definitely struggling with this feeling and it wasn't fun. There were people in my cohort that were just sort of natural at this. They were more extroverted and just more confident in themselves. And they were lovely people, but I really had to avoid them <laughs> until the clinical exam was over. Because every time I was in their presence, they would be telling me how easy it all was, how they were getting top marks. Every time they looked at a patient, they could just see the diagnosis. They would just shine, absolutely shine and sparkle. And my experience was much different to that. It was more of an uphill battle. And of course, a lot of this is down to perception right? So all of us have been raised slightly differently. We all have different backgrounds and some of us may have had our parents install lots of confidence from a very young age and that is magical. Power to you. Your girl here was crippled by self-doubt, perfectionism and a real internal mean girl who really made herself known to me during the exam period. But whether you're approaching this exam confidently or not, I have a message for you. So keep listening. And that key message is that the clinical exam is not a competition, which of course is very different from the written exam. In the written exam, everyone sits the exam and then only after that do they determine the pass mark. And that means that by design, some people will fail just because of where they were on the bell curve. Simple as that. But the clinical exam is not designed that way. If you turn up to the clinical exam and you perform at a particular set standard, then you will pass the exam. So nobody is counting, oh, you know, how many people did we pass today? Oh, we really need to balance that out. Should we fail this next one? <laughs> yeah, let's find some flaws. It doesn't work like that. The examiners, for the most part, are trying to pass you. They want to pass you. It feels good to pass you. But of course, they can only do that if you meet the set standard. But what that means is that if you show up and you put on a good show, be your physician self and bag enough points, then you will pass, right? So what this means when it comes to your mindset is that other people's success does not impact negatively on your own. It doesn't affect you. I'll say that again. Other people's success does not impact on your own. So if you see someone in your cohort do a kick-ass long case or a short case and you think to yourself, that was amazing, what a performance. Instead of letting their success make you feel less than and not good enough to do this exam, what I want you to do instead is to remind yourself that this exam is not a competition and that person's success does not affect you and perhaps this could even help you, right? You could learn something from that person. Because when you understand that for the next few months all you need to do is focus in on your own performance and you're actually not in competition with other people, it allows you to more easily adopt a growth mindset towards learning how you can put on an amazing show just like that person did. So once you realize that your colleagues are not actually a threat to you, rather they could be an amazing source of ideas and an example of how to shine, you may even start to use them as your superpower. Really lean in, ask them, 
let's go and do some short cases together one day or practice answering long case questions together one day, whatever it is. If you can see your colleagues as a learning tool in and of themselves, as opposed to your clinical exam nemesis, then you'll not only be able to open yourself up to the learning, but also you'll feel better inside. You'll feel so much better. And from that place, you'll actually perform better because anything that person can do, you can do. I promise you that. You'll start to see that you can mold yourself into whoever you wanna be on exam day, but you have to stop the comparison game that is keeping you small. It's making you feel terrible and it's keeping you stuck in that narrative that you're not capable when I'm here to tell you that you are capable and you just need to get out of your own way. And for my confident humans, you also have a special role in this. You might not be comparing yourself to people in that way, but you have an ability to hold space for your colleagues who might be naturally less confident than you. You have the power to spread that kind of energy if you choose to. But also, it's important for you to remember not to put other people down. Sometimes, even the most outwardly confident person might actually be scared and insecure about the exam, and the way that they cope is by putting other people down ever so slightly, and maybe revel in other people's misfortune to make themselves feel slightly better. And if that is something that you recognize in yourself, no judgment at all, it's a human behavior. But now that you know that the exam is not a competition, can you see how there's no need to put anyone down? How someone doing less well than you doesn't help you either? <laughs> it makes no difference to you, so don't wish it on them. And so this is liberating. The clinical exam is not a competition. This means we can approach it in a way that is focused purely on our own growth. When we watch our colleagues do well, we can take learning from that. And when we see our colleagues do less well, we can hold space for their potential. We can lift each other up because nobody else can take this exam away from you. Other people's performance is irrelevant to your own performance. And when we really believe this, we can get out of our own way and everybody wins. So thank you so much for joining me for this little soapbox episode. I hope that helps you as you work towards your clinical exam. And if you are studying for your clinical exam, then come along, join me for Rock Your Long Case, the program. I will teach you how to take the history ninja style, construct a winning issues list, opening statement, think and sound like a physician, and we will be checking your long case abilities in our live small group coaching. You'll also receive so much juicy content covering the renal, dialysis, transplant long case, gen med topics. We're talking diabetes, obesity, osteoporosis, falls, adherence, behavior change, periop med, and even rheumatology, them there is some long case gold. And if you do want to take part in the program, especially if you wanna to come to the group coaching, you must register before the 31st of March. After that, I will be closing the live group coaching aspect of the course because I really wanna serve the people inside the course. I wanna to get to know them, diagnose any problems and make sure that they are on track. And so I don't want to dilute that experience for those who have signed up to the program. So if you wanna be part of this year's program, including that live group coaching, then be sure to sign up before the 31st of March. But to be honest, there is so much juicy content on there. The best time to join is right now, today. Just go ahead, click the link, and I will see you on the inside. And otherwise, I will see you in the next video. Bye.